Hey guys, what's up? Um, so do aliens live among us? Do we have aliens living among us? Yeah, there's no evidence of it. There's no pictures of it. There's no video of it. But why do people have reports of seeing aliens and they're act them actually living among us and we just don't know that they're there? Like either we don't see them or they look like us and we don't know that they're aliens and stuff like that. So like, are they there? I mean, why, why do people say that they've seen aliens, you know, but there's no actual evidence. The only thing is that there's, there's sort of videos of things that could be UFOs, you know, but I mean, it's logical to assume that if they're that advanced, they could just decide not to be seen. They've got some high technology that makes them like invisible, or it's possible that they're not around us, you know, because there, um, there are these, um, you know, the, there are these radars that we have, and we have these these stations on the planet with these radars that are that are that are like they're pointed at space to try to like to try to find any kind of signal that's out there, anything that could be aliens, anything that you know, that could be like UFOs or, or anything that's unnatural, it's not like a natural of uh, uh, natural sound or anything like that. And natural like detect anything that could be other, you know, life that's outside of extraterrestrial life, you know, outside of what we have on Earth. And they really have found nothing. You know, so it's funny that when we try to look for them, they're not there, <laughs> you know. But there's always people saying they've seen aliens or they've talked to aliens or they've had experience with aliens. You know, it's it's interesting. And there are people that, you know, have said that aliens talk to them and they talk to aliens, you know. But when did it all start? I mean, <laughs> that's the thing. Like, why why is it that before we knew about space, well, we don't know this for sure, but, you know, there's really no records of like, before we knew about space, we never had stories about aliens. Before we knew that we were a planet and we were in space and there were other planets there that could be inhabited by other life forms, we didn't have stories about aliens. Aliens started happening when we found out that we're in space and there's other planets and the stars are not just dots in the sky, the stars are actual other suns and other galaxies and places where other life can live, you know. Uh, maybe we called them other things because they did, they had reports of fairies, you know. They had reports of, um, you know, little like creatures that they didn't know. They didn't call them aliens, you know. But there's always been reports of creatures that were not human that's living among us, and they're kind of weird, like fairies. Like there were always fairies, you know. Could, you know, it's possible fairies were just old aliens before we knew there were aliens, you know? So it's interesting, like, to think that we don't know enough about the universe to know what these beings really are. You know, we just, we, we like, before we knew there was space, we didn't call them aliens. And now that we know that there is space, now we call them aliens. But then what else, what else do we not know, <laughs> you know? And what else are we going to realize? What else are you going to realize about the universe, about the place where we're living, about reality that is going to take it to the next level? You know what I mean? We didn't know we were in space. Uh, and we didn't know there were aliens. We just thought they were other beings from, from we didn't know from where, you know? We, we were just like, maybe they're from other lands. We don't know where they're from, right? And then we found that we were in space and now it's aliens, right? So what's the next thing we're going to find out, <laughs> you know, that's going to say, oh, now they're this, you know, that we don't know because we haven't found it out yet, you know, so. But, but that's, I mean, magical creatures, like intelligent, magical creatures, like demons, devils, you know, like fairies. We didn't know, you know, like angels, you know, we don't. You know, like, we don't really, we don't really like, well, we don't really know. Like, so, so now it's like, we're thinking, okay, so why would aliens walk among us, right? Like, and why didn't they walk among us before, you know? 
Is it that they were not, we were not technologically advanced? Is it that when we started going into space, now we're actually part of the universe of other aliens that are going into space? Maybe they just contact you when you first start going into space. And now they're like, okay, well, they're still, you know, they look down at your planet and they go, okay, they're starting to go into space. Let's go down in there and like live among them. So the thing is like right now, I mean, these aliens could have lots of really, really cool technology. Technology that makes them invisible, technology that um, makes them able to, you know, exist without physically being there, you know, a technology that, you know, will, um, technology that will, will make them, you know, like, so that we, we don't know they're there or, or look like us or um, so that like technology so that no real physical evidence is, is left of them. So if they are among us, you know, they're really, really trying hard not to get detected, you know, and the question is like, you know, I don't know, like do people already like it, it makes sense that if they don't want to be detected, they're not going to be detected, you know they're just going to be invisible. You know, it, it, there's just no way, even if someone has some physical evidence of an alien, it's, if you have high, te high enough technology, you can erase physical evidence. You know, you can, you can actually, you don't actually need to, you know, have anything physical to actually exist. You know, they, they can, with high enough technology, they can project themselves you know, onto our planet from their planet without spaceships, without anything physical, you know, without being visible, you know? So like if they have a machine or some kind of tech, which allows them to project themselves anywhere without physically having to be there, you know? So they're like, it's like you get, you sort of like, they come down, but they're not physical. You can, you know, if they can, they can kind of turn on their visibility so you can see them or they can look any way they want to look, you know, or they can be completely invisible or they can talk to you or whatever it is, or they can like, you know, look like a regular person and just kind of walk around the street. And, um, with high enough, the thing is that you, you can ponder about it, but the truth is like, the thing is with high enough technology, anything's possible, you know, like, if we took a TV set back into the Middle Ages, people would wonder how all that stuff is happening inside the little box. You know, they didn't know that it was being projected from somewhere else. They didn't know it was possible. So we're, we're, we're guessing about things that we didn't know, we don't know are possible, you know? But the way I see it, if they're, you know, it's real easy for technology to take off to really, really high levels, really, really fast. That we know for sure because we started technology um, when we first started making fire and little tools and stuff like that. That wasn't so long ago, you know? It w we went from fire to computers and spaceships and airplanes in a few, th like a few thousand years. Like, I don't know, uh, fire to, well, like the first cities, you know, we started like from the, from the first cities, we, we started that maybe like no, no more than 10,000 BC. And it was more like 7,000 BC. So 7,000 BC, it's 2000 AD, you know, about 10,000 years, you can go from having no technology to having like a lot of technology. And if you look at the last hundred years, we went from having low technology to really, really, really high technology. And now we're looking at the next level of technology and we're looking at artificial intelligence, which makes itself smarter and then things that as it makes itself smarter it invents you know higher levels of technology so it doesn't even take people to think about this anymore because computers can invent stuff on their own and and make themselves smart enough to like such a degree that we really don't know what the limits of it are you know so give so if that if those aliens are maybe a thou have a thousand years more technology than we do, they can have they, they can be so highly technological that you know if if they don't want to be seen and they want to like hang out with us, maybe like they're they're so high tech and they just want to spend you know I don't know 
we don't know their motivation. Like, is it just a result? Like, are they just on vacation, hanging out on earth, like around us? Or, you know, are they really, really trying to like understand us and live among us and not be detected? Because like, of course, that if they are detected, then we would try to take their technology and they wouldn't really be able to like, see who we were because we would be more like them very, very quickly. You know, like if all of a sudden, if tech, if, if those aliens appear to us and go, Hey, we're aliens and this is our technology and they could have technology like time travel, you know, even they have, they could have technology like getting across from one galaxy to another galaxy in half an hour. You know, they could be, have such high technology that it's thousands of years in the future for us. So if they gave us this technology, they might just know that it's a bad idea, right? Now, on the other hand, there could be no aliens. And that's just as weird that there's no aliens. There's this whole universe and our galaxy is, is huge. There's planets just like our planet with the same oxygen and water. There's planets out there that are just like ours. That, that There's millions of them and billions of them. And we haven't found any life at all. Like that's, I, I think that's even more strange than actually finding life, uh, you know, out there. I, I, I think that having no other life besides what's here, you just figure, you know, if, if there is like, it just feels like, you know, if there's, if there's one planet where there's life, there's gotta be other planets where there's life, you know? They could be so different that their motivations are different that maybe, but we're talking about life that becomes technological because we're not interested in beings that are like creatures or, or, or people that, um, that, uh, you know, that, that, that they're not technological. We have no interest in anyone that's not technological, you know? It's like, we don't even care like what the form they are, what, where they live. They could be on another planet. They could be people. They could be living in huts. They could be fishing for food, whatever it is. But if they have no technology, we're not even interested in them because they're, we're like, we have technology, you know, we're only interested in those aliens that have like giant starships that can, that can travel across the galaxy. We're interested in those aliens. We're not interested in aliens that don't are not motivated by amassing technology we're not interested by just like aliens that just live on the land because to us it feels like lower forms of civilization even if they're like that much older even if they're smarter even if they're smarter it doesn't mean that we can understand that they're smart you know we we might not even like get that you know but you know we're, we're talking about high tech and you can go from no tech to high tech in like really, really fast and like in really 10 from 10,000 year for 10,000 in like 10,000 years, which is nothing because our solar system is 4.5 billion years old and our planet is million, you know, just is millions of years old. Even, even the way, the way it is now, it's millions of years old. So a thousand, like 10,000 years is not a long time, you know? So, <laughs> So like to have, you know, so, and in 10,000 years, you can pretty, you can theoretically go from living with fire and stone tools and sticks and, and straw huts to giant spaceships that go across the galaxy and potentially time travel. I mean, we're talking about high, high tech, you know? So if they're that high tech, you know, they don't have to be, they don't have to like, appear. They don't have to like be seen by us. They don't have to, um, you know, they, they don't have to like whatever they want. They, they, they pretty much can do whatever they want. Like if they want to be seen, they'll be seen. If it's like their plan to like eventually re reveal themselves, they'll do that. If it's their plan to hide. And so we don't see that they're there and they still want to kind of like live among us or look like us or, you know, look like a cat. And we don't, we think it's a cat and it's really an alien that's just like hanging out and checking us out and seeing what we do. You know, we don't know, we don't know it's motiv their motivation. We don't know any of that. So honestly, like, you know, the, on the other side, if there's no aliens, that's just as weird, you know? So 
that's the thing. And and any kind of like any way we can we try to legitimately detect them, we don't see anything. But people just have, just all of a sudden see aliens here and there. They see UFOs here and there. You know, it's like all of a sudden people have these experiences with aliens. You know that they see an alien and whatever it is. You know when they you know just just inadvertently. But when we actually try to find them, we don't see any of them. So. You know, it is possible that they just have really, really high tech and they're just not, you know, if they don't want to be seen, that they, they, they're just not going to be seen. And it's possible that they're out there, but we, they, but they're, they haven't contacted us yet. It's possible we're not that highly technological for them to be interested in us. We might be, our techno technology, our, you know, language, everything that we are just might be something that they've evolved, already evolved to the next level of. So they're just not even interested in our kind of, even though we're starting like space travel and stuff like that, they could be thousands of years into space travel and they look at us and go, oh, they're low tech. We're not that interested, you know? So we don't know, but honestly, like whatever aliens want to do, they're going to want to do. If they're high tech enough, they can do it. If they got the tech to do it, they can do it. And if they're not there, then they're not there. Honestly, like we're not going to know. We're not going to know you know, uh, you know, unless we really know, like, we're not going to know unless it's an overt thing, unless, you know, we come face to face with aliens. It's on every, everyone's video, you know, there's videos of it, there's pictures of it, pe you know, and there's real proof of it, like, like a spaceship lands, you know, on our planet, and they walk out, like, it's pretty much it. But it's probably not going to happen that way. It's probably going to happen some other way that we'll contact them or whatever. And it just might be they're just not in our area of space because space is so huge that, you know, if you don't really know where, where you're going or where you, what you're looking for, and we're so small, that it's really hard to find us. <laughs> you know, we're really small. We're a little small planet in the middle of a gigantic galaxies, multiple galaxies area. And we're so small, our area, just our location is so small, it's really hard to find us. And life, technological life, might just not be that common, but is definitely, definitely there. So, I don't know, just a bunch of, you know, weird musings. If you guys like my video, please like and subscribe to my channel. And leave anything in the comments. Let me know what you think. Um, yeah, aliens. Yeah, what's, what's up with that, right? Leave everything in the comments. I will see you guys in another video. And have a good day. Yo, aliens!